Welcome to another Working Out with Aaron Briggs video. Aaron, what's on par for today? Today is core and it is a doozy. It's 15 minutes. Yeah. We almost never do 15 minutes. We do like five to 10, maybe seven. So this is by request. We, we had a couple of people ask for a little longer core workout video and I hate them now because it was Yeah, long. no, was I was <laughs> like, okay, this is like very difficult and a challenge, but it was fun. No, it was fun. And we don't want to make it seem like it's it's not doable. No, it's very, it is very doable. definitely doable. It it's just burned our core. not as bad as Aaron is no. making it sound. No. You know we have to have fun. All right. Well, like always, we are inviting you to begin by warming up. And like we do with every single workout, we warm up by practicing the movements that we're going to do. We just don't have an official stopwatch or a timer up there yet because we're really just warming up into it. So our first move is what's called the walkout. I'm kind of doing a little bit of a squat there, but the idea is that you can see us doing it. We're walking our hands forward until we're out into a plank position, maybe even a little bit farther than we come back. Exercise two is what's called a hand to toe crunch. And again, as a reminder, my biggest suggestion here is pretend you're doing a hollow body hold. Yeah. So remember with that hollow body hold, you're lying flat on your back, your feet and hands are up in the air, and then you're pressing your, your low back down into the ground. That's the first step. Once you've got that down, you can, you can kind of do anything you want. You can mm -hmm. mix and match, and at this point, we're just reaching our hands towards our toes, right? That's what you're, you're looking for, is trying to touch your toes. Exercise number three is a reverse crunch, and we're sticking with that hollow body thing. You're gonna find us doing that a lot today. So again, if your hands and feet are off the ground, you're pressing your low back into the ground, right? If you've got that, then you've got your form. Once that's done, you slowly lower your legs down until your feet touch the ground. And you're gonna see, I'm not really picky about how we do that. I like doing what's called a bent knee, reverse crunch, a bent, a bent knee heel touch here. You can go straight legs if you want. That's much, much more challenging, by the way. Um, you can kind of reach your feet up. You can really have some fun with that one. Mm -hmm. Exercise four is a side plank and a little heads up on this one. With every exercise we do today, you're gonna to go for 60 seconds. On the side plank, you're doing 60 seconds. You're just going to go 30 seconds on each side. And we're getting, we're gonna practice that as it really is right now. So again, uh, play around with that. A quick reminder, you'll see Maggie's doing her side planks from her knees and then on her forearm while, while I am on the sides of my feet and my forearm. That's just two ways to do it. There's lots of variations out there. Again, we want you to explore what's right for you. And the idea with any plank typically is you're just trying to prevent motion. You're just standing yeah. up, you know, kind of holding yourself tight and really resisting, you know, twisting or leaning one way or another. So again, you're off to a good start here. We're almost done. Our last exercise, as we transition into it, is gonna go back to that hollow body position. So if you're ready, go ahead and join us, right? You've warmed up with four of the moves so far. Our fifth movement is a hollow body hold. If you can stay out of each other's way, like us. <laughs> All right, so again, <laughs> Hands and feet up, lots of different angles here. Oh Remember, yeah, I forgot I wasn't doing yeah. this. <laughs> Low back pressed into the ground. And if it's too tough to have your legs be straight, totally bend those knees mm -hmm. or point your feet higher up towards the ceiling rather than out. That's always okay, okay? And okay. again, this particular move is split into two. So it's 30 seconds of a hollow body hold, key emphasis on the word hold, and then 30 seconds of a flutter where you're maintaining that hollow body position and then you're giving those feet just a tiny little kick as if you're in the pool working on your swim stuff. Okay, so this was our warm up. This took, I don't know, three, three and a half minutes, okay? Once we're done with this, we're gonna take about a 30 second breather. At that point, now that you know what's coming, right? You know all the moves, you're gonna get the chance to go, you know, get a mat, get a drink of water, kind of get what you need. So 30 seconds starting now. And again, if you need more time, just pause the video. We'll be here when you come back to get what you need. <laughs> And I always like to recommend with people, anytime we're on our hands, just to do a little wrist stretch. And you can see us doing that right now. I will kind of put my palms flat, lean over them. I might go side to side. Sometimes I go on the backs of my hands. And again, if you have tight wrists, if you've got anything, feel free to warm them up a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna go in two, one. Let's begin again with walkouts. Now again, the whole roadmap for today, you've got five movements. Each movement is gonna be done for about a minute, and we're gonna to try to go through this twice before we're done. So again, the clock itself is gonna run for 10, the stopwatch is gonna run for 10 straight minutes. It's gonna be a good challenge. Yeah, This one's great. gonna wake those core muscles up. Yeah, and 10 straight minutes of core is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, oftentimes when we're doing cardio workouts, you'll, we'll do something similar. We'll go for five minutes straight. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll do a round. 
and we don't have built-in break time. And we actually try to do the same thing with core. Sometimes we build in with rest time, sometimes we don't. This is one of those times where we're not including it, but again, that doesn't mean that you can't take breaks. Oh, in yeah. fact, if you watch Mags and I, you're gonna see us take breaks several times today. And that's the idea, is that you don't have to go for 60 straight seconds. You have 60 seconds to get as many good reps in as you can. That being said, you've got two more seconds. One, let's go ahead and transition to those crunches. So again, on your backside, think that hollow body position, right? Arms and legs up, low back pressing into the ground. Once you've got that, go ahead and reach towards those toes. And the reminder is that it's still just your, your first round, right? So the idea is you're still getting a feel for the exercise, still making sure that it looks good, that it feels good, and that you're really trying to enjoy what you're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. So continue, yeah, have fun. Keep, keep pressing here. Again, you're looking for a gentle crunch up and down. Keep it smooth. You're rocking it. You've got about 20 seconds left. Go at whatever pace and rhythm feels good for you and make sure to breathe. I know, Mags, we, I, we tell people to smile. We tell people to laugh. And some of that is fun because that's just our personality, right? We like to be a little upbeat. We like to be a little positive. But I've, I remember reading some research that talked about if you can smile, then your body relaxes a little bit. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and try that reverse crunch now. And there's yeah, doesn't the, it like release endorphins too or something? Well, I'm sure smile? it does. Yeah, I, there, there's probably something in there I about don't, that. Don't like quote me on that, but I feel like I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. But there was a there's there were some studies that had talked uh, or sorry they had tested two things whether people were smiling or if they could gently rest the their tongue on the roof of their mouth. Oh sure. And as long as they were doing that, for the most part, they found that it wasn't too intense. It was when they when their tongue dropped from the mouth or they could they released into a frown. Yeah. That they could tell right away that it was too hard for them. Oh, like right? the workout was the too workout hard for itself, them. The workout oh, itself, the movement sure. itself was too hard, and so that's. It, yeah. There's like Maggie's always said. There's always a reason behind what I say. Yes, <laughs> you know, there is. Do. There's usually something that I've read or I've gone to. So, I always like to keep in mind. I'm reading studies and research all the time, and there's usually something in there that I'm saying. All right, this is why we do what yeah. we do. Four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and try those side planks. And again, reminder: first round, still getting a feel for it. Play around with it. This should feel good, and if it yeah. feels painful if it hurts oh my gosh change it up try something different and i always people give me the joke they're like this never feels good because it's challenging haha ha, yes i get it that's totally fine you know what we mean on that end if it really if you hate this it's also a good sign to change it up right yeah if you're just these core workouts planks, are not for everybody right three two one let's change sides Realize this is just one way that we're getting there. Yeah, we yeah. tend to choose exercises that people can do that aren't too, I, I'm using quotes here, sexy. It's stuff that, that most people can do and it's very effective, right? Yeah. You're going to feel changes here. Absolutely. You're going to notice changes from doing this. So again, keep in mind that it should be, I use the word enjoyable also with quotes. <laughs> Not like it's Yeah, you know, because you're your kind of going like, oh, right. okay, I'm ready for the minute to be done. Four, three, Two, one, let's try our hollow body hold. Now, one <laughs> interesting little bit you guys from are doing great, by the research way. Research that I love to tell people is there was it was it was a specific study that had been done and it was about strength. And so they, you know, let's say there was fifty people in the in the study and forty eight of them got stronger, right? Two of them actually got weaker. They regressed and they did the exact same program. And what I always love to tell people is when you're looking at studies and averages, you have to take that into account, right? Yeah. And I can say, hey, and by the way, three, two, one, let's try that flutter. Even though I can say, hey, most people benefit from doing this, right? Like saying smiling or putting you know, your tongue in the roof of your mouth. Most people it works with, but every once in a while you get someone who it does not work. Yeah. And it's like it doesn't resonate. And so Magza and I have always said, you have to advocate for yourself, right? You have yeah. to be your yeah. own person here. And so even though we're saying, hey, this works for most people, if it's not working for you, pay attention to that and yeah. change it. That's always okay. Three, two, one. Congrats on making it through the first Ooh. five minutes of the workout. Ooh. Guys, that's a tough one, y'all. That's, that that's a big deal. That was awesome. Way to go, guys. We're starting walkouts right away here, gang, if you can make it. I obviously stepped up and grabbed a sip of water. And, of course, feel free to do that if you need that. Um, but these walkouts are no joke. They're they're pretty great if you can kind of pause um, and do that hold while you're flat. I think yeah. that's kind of the the way you can get really the Heart most style. out of this. Right. 
Yeah, which Aaron, you could talk about our intention for this. Yeah, round, that, which exactly. Kind of now that we're in round two, we our intention for round two is always dial it up a little bit, and our favorite way to do that is to add that little bit of flex, to add that kind of tightening where you become really, really proud of your form, right? Every single rep, you're working towards excellence here. 10 seconds to go, never perfection, right? If you get perfect, that's fine, but we don't care about being perfect. Perfect, we care about you moving towards being great. Three, two, one, let's move into your next exercise. That's our hands to toes crunch. And remember, you're setting up by doing your hollow body position here. So hands and feet up, low back pressing into the floor or the mat, whatever you've got. Once you've got that, it's a gentle reach up. Very gentle reach up. Reach and relax. And don't forget to smile. Don't forget to be mindful here and be present with what you're doing. It makes it better, I promise. You've got this down. You've got 30 seconds to go. Keep rolling, keep it smooth. And again, remember your intention for round two, it gets just a little bit better. You got to feel for it during round one. You know exactly what's coming. You've got 15 seconds left. You can handle this and take breaks where you need it. You saw I just took a break. I'll teach you my little uh, my little thing for taking a break here. I wanna get us to the next exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's try those reverse crunches. So again, you're gonna be in those lower abs here, right? Two, two minutes in a row where you're really focusing on those. Mm -hmm. Again, it's okay if you take breaks. So again, this is research-based. Uh, I had seen some studies a while back where Oftentimes with strength strength exercises, we like to work towards fatigue. Some people use the word failure, and I like thinking of it as saying, whew, I just can't go anywhere, right? I've only got one good one left in the tank. I'm gonna stop while I'm still ahead. And whenever you notice that feeling, if you're noticing the urge to kind of take a rest, by all means, listen to that, go ahead and do it. And you're gonna try to go again. And how you know when it's time to go again is the rule of thumb is take three deep breaths. It takes five to 10 seconds, and that's usually all that you need in order to keep going again for another rep or two, or sometimes even 10, right? Mm -hmm. That's the idea there, but don't be afraid of taking rest. Just make that's sure great. that you're being deliberate with those rest. About three deep breaths, and you'll see me do that all the time here. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, one. You've got two minutes to go to the end. You've done great. This is the most core that we've ever done in a video. You are rocking this. Okay, two minutes to go. 30 seconds out of pop, keep rocking it here. You're on your side plank, and remember, knees are totally an option, feet are totally an option. If you have done dialed up versions of this, maybe you've got feet stacked or maybe one foot up in the air, if that feels good for you, go ahead and rock it. Keep playing around. Three, two, one, let's switch to the other side. Make sure you're looking good. <laughs> Here's, now oh get yeah, out Aaron lost the time. Lost track of time. I was like, oh no. You We're should be switch switching sides. Too. Don't follow us on yeah. this one. <laughs> but again, it's not magical. If you do 40 no. seconds on one side and 20 on the other, yeah, it's, it's okay. not like one arm gets a giant and the other arm doesn't. No, nope, right? you're it's fine. All, it's all practice. Yep. Working towards greatness. You're working it. You've got eight seconds to go here, and then we're down for our final minute. Four, three, two. One, let's get back into our hollow body hold. And again, round two, make it just a little bit better than it was for round one. Legs up, reach your hands up, push that low back down into the ground. And once you can do that, then start to gently and slowly move those hands and feet away from each other. Smooth, and remember, there's no perfect way here. Some people might get way far apart, others might be much closer together. You do what works for you. Yeah, Three, even between you and I, two, we look totally different. One, absolutely. And then try that little flutter. And remember, your flutter can be fast, it can be slow, as long as you're in control and it feels like it's right for you, keep rocking it. You've got 20 seconds to go. And then as a little heads up, we're gonna institute just a little tiny stretch here in about 15 seconds to get our breath. So realize something's coming. You've got 10 seconds. Keep You've going, done so keep going. good. 10 seconds. No, no, not even 10. Five. There you go. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Woo. Take a breath or three if you want. When you're ready, go ahead and join us in that down dog position for a brief little stretch. You rocked it. Okay, now remember. 10 minutes rolling exercise time. That's the most core we've ever done. Potentially the most core we'll ever do. 10 minutes is a lot. I hope you <laughs> felt it in a good way. And again, if you're counting the warm up time, which we do, this is almost exactly a 15 minute workout. So thanks for joining us. That was really fun today. 
Yeah, thanks everybody. If you've been around for a while, you know that we have videos all different lengths, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minute lengths. We recommend that you move around for about 25 minutes a day. So if you're looking for some more ways to move with us, I will link to some more videos. And we hope you subscribe to our channel, tell other people that you think would just love moving around with us and make it a great day.